Hey everybody, if you want to play along with me as I'm doing this video, click on the link below. It'll take you to a Google Sheet and all you have to do is click make a copy and when you do that, it'll give you a copy that you can edit. It's a view only file, but you can edit it and make it your own if you do make a copy. Also, be sure to subscribe and if you want, I have a free course on virtual productivity. You can get that below in the description and in the comments. All right, let's get into the video. Okay, I wanna introduce you to a really cool concept, something that I've been a fan of for a while. I didn't invent it. I don't really know who to credit with it. I first heard it from James Clear and his New York Times bestseller, Atomic Habits. But the concept is really straightforward. It's a little bit gimmicky, so bear with me. The concept is, if you can get 1% better every single day, the compound effect of that over the course of like a year, two years, even just a few months, will have a big impact on your life. So this is actually really fun, but the problem is, is that to do this without some sort of documentation or something to make you mindful of it, you probably won't do it. So I created this worksheet called the 1% Better Workbook, and it lets you put in the tasks that you're doing every day and then categorize them. I have different categories here. I have general productivity, health, finance, business, relationships, better output, and I'll explain a little bit more about those. Some of the things you can't quantify, like you can't quantify a 1% improvement in your marriage. You can't quantify time spent with your kids. So you can add that to this list if you want. You should, because you should always be working on making that stuff better. I mean, it's not just about business, it's about making your life better. That's what everything we do is about. So you can add that, but quantifying it in this workbook won't be possible because you can't, you just can't quantify it. But things you can quantify, I've actually made it so that you can see the value per day uh, in dollar amounts. Because that's a mindset shift that I think everyone needs to have is that when you're when you're spending time on something, there's what's called an opportunity cost. I got my degree in economics and I think the one thing that really changed my life out of that, I mean, it didn't help me get a job because I became an entrepreneur, but the concept of opportunity cost really has has made the degree worth itself um, because I understand the value of my time. So if I'm doing one thing, I'm not doing another thing. And that's how everything in life is. So something as simple as number as row number six here, I put move dog food bowl. That sounds so dumb, right? It's like, what does that what does that even do? Well, it saves me one minute per day because I was going into my bathroom, getting uh, the dog food, bringing it down here, and then and then putting it in the bowl. So I just moved the bowl right next to the dog food. It's kind of dumb that I didn't even think about that uh, until I started doing this mindfulness where I'm like, okay, what am I doing that's wasting time? So that's just one minute a day. That means nothing on its own. But if I did this every single day and I found a hundred different things I could save time on, one minute, just one minute, you'll find things that will save you 10, 20. I mean, you'll find things that, that will save you tons of time. One minute's like the baseline. Doing that, adding it up, it really does add up. And if I can save myself an hour a day, which is pretty easy, I've almost already done that just from doing this worksheet for about a week, I can really add to my bottom line as far as my business goes. And back to the categories, I have them broken down into a couple of different things. General productivity, these are just things that will save you flat time, right? And then I've got health, you can't quantify that, but you can try to if you want. You can put, you know, that, that having, uh, being in good shape and being eating healthy uh, gets you an extra two to three minutes of work a day. I mean, it's hard to quantify. You're allowed to put whatever, you can put whatever you want. It probably does. I'm not gonna do that just because it's hard to quantify and I want really, really easy to quantify things in my list. But you can do those things and again, the numbers don't really matter that much. Uh, it's just to kind of give you a baseline, to kind of give you those those wins so you can really see what you're doing and, and really visualize it because some people need that. Some people need to know like, okay, by doing this, it's not just one minute. I'm not just being lazy. It's actually costing me dollars and cents. So actually over here in the personal data, I put you can change whatever your hourly rate would be. So the value of one hour of your time and whether you think about it that way or not, your time is always worth something. And even though when you're writing a blog post, the opportunity cost concept, when you're writing a blog post, you're not freelancing with a client. Let's say you charge a hundred bucks an hour when you freelance by writing that blog post and spending five hours on it, you're basically sacrificing $500. Now, I know there's a lot that goes into that. Maybe you don't have clients lined up, but you can come up with an hourly rate that's close. You know, you can kind of hedge it. So you'd, you'd say, if I just did freelancing, I would make $30,000 a year, divide that by the hours worked. This number is flexible. The numbers are not as important as the fact that you're going through here and thinking and being mindful of the little things that you can improve, 
right? And then over here on column D on type, I have different types of actions. So I've got one time and long lasting. Moving the dog food bowl, that's a one time move that pays off every day. It's not permanent because I mean, my dog's not gonna live forever, stuff like that. Um, or we might move or whatever, but that is pretty long lasting. That's gonna save me time for quite a while. Next, I have one that is automations. So this would be something like creating a Zapier that triggers something that, that puts something in an inbox or, or something that automatically sends a certain e email to a folder or, or spam or junk so you don't have to see it and waste time on it. Uh, next is one time and temporary. This is something like organize my files, organize your desktop, create folders and stuff on your desktop. That's temporary because you'll have to do it over and over again as you get more files and stuff. Um, next we have long lasting and per or one time and permanent. So for me, I added a second monitor to my left over here. And by doing that, studies are all over the board for, for how much time it saves, but I put it to about 10 minutes a day uh, just from flipping tabs. So I'll actually keep a bunch of stuff open on this monitor and it saves me time. It seems dumb, but like just not needing to flip through different tabs and different softwares, it saves a lot of time and it adds up. And just being mindful of that is so important. And once I add these things up and they start to compile on top of one another, I'm gonna end up with a very optimized work day. I'm gonna make more money in the long run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna create better work. I'm just gonna be more free in my business to do the things that matter and spend less time on the things that don't. And then we have new habits. Uh, create a new habit, that's gonna save you time because you're not gonna have to think about it. Habits, the beauty of habits is that when you have them, you don't have to make a decision about whether you're gonna do something. Uh, it's like working out. If you create a habit that you work out at 10 o'clock every day, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to sit there at, at 9.30 and be like, should I work out? And you're, you're losing all this time. We've talked about the power of small distractions, right? And if you create a habit, you don't have those because it's just automatic. It takes like 30 days to create those, uh, varies depending on things, but creating a new habit is an amazing way to add that 1% better to your life. And honestly, it's most habits would be more than 1%. So these don't have to just be 1% things. Some of these will be big. Some of these you might be like, hey, I don't need uh, to be posting on Twitter anymore. You're like the ROI in my Twitter posting is not up there with the value of my time. So I'm going to stop doing it. Save an hour a day doing it or whatever, however much time you're spending on Twitter. That'd be a lot of tweeting. Uh, <laughs> next, we have broke a bad habit. Just as important. You know, it's addition by subtraction. If you can break a bad habit, uh, you can make yourself much more productive and 1% and better every day, if not much more. So that is pretty much how it goes, you guys. And you'll add uh, the purpose, why you're doing it. You can take notes. It's going to give you the time saved. You'll type that number in. Like, let's say it, it saved three minutes. Just put in three and it'll format to three minutes per day. Uh, if you want this in other variables, you can. You can change this as much as you want. All you have to do is do file. Uh, make a copy and then you'll have your own copy to edit. This is a view only file right now And then you put the date of when you did the change and If you want here's some ideas. I'm going to continually add to this These are just some basic things. Obviously the number one thing is to get a virtual assistant That's a huge and like a huge impact right away uh, But then there's other things like create a perfect breakfast where you just know that this is what I eat for breakfast every day so I don't have to think about it anymore. It's a healthy, quick thing, like I eat two eggs and a, and a protein shake or whatever it is, right? So my challenge to you is to try to do this every day. Even if it's something as simple as you got rid of mismatched socks, if it's something that can add one minute of time, make your work 1% better, it doesn't have to be 1%. You don't have to just have things that are quantifiable. Like I said, you can't quantify the value of spending time with your kids. You can't quantify the value of improving your marriage. But those things are important, so feel free to put them in there. The goal is to be happy. It's not about to make money, but all these things work together to get you there. So definitely, definitely do that. If you are mindful and continually thinking about it, you'll start to notice these things pop up all over the place. And when you do that, it will have a lasting impact on your life. This isn't a quick win thing where you're gonna immediately go out and make a bunch of money and become way more productive and live this amazing life. But if you develop this mindfulness and you're continually improving every single day, things will happen, good things will happen. I really want that for you. I want to challenge you to try to do this at least for like 30 days. 
especially for the habits. Habits take at least 30 days to really stick in. So definitely invest the time to do that. I promise you it will be worth it. I really want this for you guys. That's why you watch this channel. You want to get better. So that is it. That is the 1% Better Workbook. Hopefully you guys enjoy that.